OpenKM's authority to desktop sync permits the synchronization of the files from our desktop to OpenKM automatically. We configure the application, we indicate a local file. The data necessary to access OpenKM server and we accept. On the bottom right side of the screen appears a new icon. We import a folder. We can see that this file already exists on OpenKM, which has various files. We can check that the import has been successful. In OpenKM, we can create more folders and documents within those. And from the application, we can synchronize again. And we can see that there are configuration parameters that indicates how often it is being refreshed. Searching for new documents or we can directly force it through the menus options. Here we can see that it has been newly synchronized and it has created various folders that can be found in OpenKM's depository. We can delete them locally or create new ones and when synchronized by the documents manager the changes will be executed. Here we see a folder and now locally on our desktop we will modify this folder. OpenKM Desktop Sync will identify that this folder has been modified and it will upload it to the document manager changing its own version. We can also create new folders locally and those folders will also be created to the depository. Here we can see how it's changed the version of the document and how a new document has been created. Now we are going to add documents in OpenKM's new documents depository. And we can see how those changes have been reflected locally and synchronized. We force the synchronization and we will see how the changes have been made locally.
It has created the folders and documents. As we can see, the synchronization can be automatically executed through the application or manually. Another option that we can use is to import the contents from our computer. To open KM and synchronize them. We are now creating a folder and file structure. And we are going to import with the same tools. We go to the import option. We select the folder we want to import. And here we can see that the import folder has been created. But it still does not appear in the depository. What we now have to do is indicate the location within the depository.